figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in You, I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me Chino Bambino is home. So we had to make a hard decision. Like, we brought Chino home because it's just easier for us to manage his feet at home. For ho for now, he's home, you guys. Chino Bambino is home. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, yesterday, you guys got to see that we brought Chino Bambino home to care for his feet. Hey, Chino. You got yourself a fan? <laughs> you guys know he's been going really well almost all summer. We made like our farrier made a change with the way he does his shoes that allowed bacteria to get in underneath the shoe. And unfortunately, horses like Chino, who have like a softer foot, really can't handle that kind of shoe. So we're going back to normal. Oh, Chino! <laughs> we're going back to normal. We are going back to his old shoes because he was doing so well before that. Fancy meeting you here. Isn't it strange that our children have horses and it's you and I up at the crack of dawn? <laughs> uh, they sleep in a little bit. Sam and I love this. Do you guys know long ago when we first started our videos, people said, your kids are gonna grow up and you're gonna be stuck with these horses. And we were like, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, good morning. Welcome to today. The only reason we brought Chino home is because we made a mistake with his shoes. We changed the way we shot him. Shot him. I want to say thank you to any of you guys who sent me ideas of what to do with the horses. Everybody's messed up today. <laughs> because there's a boy in the castle! <laughs> Sam said everybody's messed up today. And I'm like, it's because there's a boy! <laughs> so, Gino stayed in last night. But we want him to have a nice, cushy, soft stall at night and so just just until his feet get better he had to like soak his feet all the like we were soaking his feet all the time and doing all this stuff and it's really hard to drive that far three times a day or even two times a day so it was just so much easier to just bring him home do the stuff we have to do for him take that sucker back so he's home for a short time and i'm gonna and i for one am gonna love it i had so many young kids message me and say <gasps> Did you sell Chino? What happened? <laughs> I was like, no. Penny's all, there's a boy! I saw him! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's already started. There's a boy! <laughs> Penny's a little upset. She's like, I thought I was gonna be the only horse here. Just ponies and me. 
Gracie's like, wait for me! <laughs> oh, and there goes the willow. What? Yeah, they have paths. So see how they go? Like, they don't want to walk through the bushes either. Uh-oh. Watch out, Gracie. Here comes the mean girl. And Penny always goes away from them. She never just stands right with them, ever. You guys saw yesterday I had a pedicure. I always choose to have a pedicure because I love, yes, Gino, because I love the massage chair and I love like they massage your legs and this feels amazing. But I'm one of those people, I'm one of those people that have picky feet. Like anything that they do to my feet hurts. And they always cut my nails too short and that always hurts me. And they always pick all the stuff off the bottom of my feet, like scrape off all the dead skin, like they do with horses. And it hurts. My feet hurt. <laughs> no, they go out to their hay. And why didn't you just let them go? He remembers. Chino Bambino remembers. Anyway, Gabby will be down to treat his feet within the hour. So we're keeping the horses separate for right now. Even though we know Chino Bambino is fully vaccinated and our girls are vaccinated and everybody should be fine. Our barn is a show barn and horses like are always on and off property and stuff. So... Last night when Chino came, I guess he was running around the field like a crazy boy and I missed it. I missed it, you guys. I would love to have showed you guys, but I was in the house. I think he's happy to be home or he misses his friends, I don't know. All I know for sure is that sore feet is no joke. Like only one of my toes is a little bit short. Oh, and it's just agonizing. But it's true, like if I put a sock and a shoe on it, that holds it together and it doesn't hurt so bad. It's so weird, like how similar we are to horses. I have seen so much growth in my family and my children this summer. Trying to cut me off at the path? Lazy bones. Anyway, I've seen so much growth in my kids. Neighbors, I think had like a party or something. I wanted to bring Will and be like, "Hey, yo, free pony. Well, people get free pony and stuff." Isn't that so kind? Oh, and Gabby gets to go on their water slide. Oh yeah, they have a water slide. <laughs> Look. He thinks she, yeah, looks like the neighbors are having a party. It was a birthday party for their kids yesterday and I didn't even notice. That's what happens when your ears are blocked. You don't notice stuff. Oh, sorry. Anyways, Gabby already down here. I literally haven't even seen Gabby today and she's already down here taking care of our boy. Uh oh, sorry, Rubes. Come on. But anyways, we are having a party tonight, or we're going to a party tonight. The Gabby. Scared, you know? Yeah, they're like, whoa, this is a giant horse. How did it get here? <laughs> Hi, handsome. Wow, I think he's excited to be home. No. She was like, yay. He needs that whole foot down in there, though. Here, can you open this? And you got to clean his stall. <laughs> Here's some more shavings for you. Chino is so clean in his stall, so that's so nice. I love a good horse, and Chino is such a good horse. So anyways, we're going to a party. I have to go get ready, but I'm like, we're in the middle. Weekends, we like really try and work around our farm and get stuff done. Sam has been out cutting grass. I've been out working on the chicken I've coop. I'm not being able to do anything because of these hands. <laughs> 
Do not get your nails done, people. <laughs> they were good, but like, I can't do anything. So many people messaged me and said that they love both of your nails and that they love that you chose cow print because not everybody does. It doesn't look like cow print. Well, I think it does. It does not, but it's cute. Yeah. Okay. We're the kind of people that we're happy no matter what, huh? Mostly. There are a couple of times if I get stressed, then I get stressed, but we try and always be happy. In other news, yeah, my feet are really dirty because I've been out working and doing chores, but my feet are killing me. Oh, do you like a pedicure? No. No. I like the massage chair. I like a massage chair too. Well, why don't you get your fingers done instead then? I should have got my fingers done instead, but the truth is I'm a busy person and I don't like to be like, I can't handle long nails. Cause no, why don't you just get your nails painted? She knows like, hmm, this is interesting. <laughs> He's like, oh, there's just so many people at this place. Anyways, um, I just was like working on the chicken coop and I had to walk through the driveway to get there and I was walking in my flip flops, in my thick flip flops, on stones and all the calluses that she scrubbed off my foot like with the scraper hurt so bad it's like i swear i have stone bruises on my feet like there's about six spots that don't, are aching don't, me don't turn into chino yeah i'm like it's true some horses are more sensitive in their feet and he is definitely a sensitive horse in terms of like everything bothers him and normally things don't bother me but the truth is that they do bother me <laughs> it's just that i go about my life in a way that i make sure that i I set my life up so that I'm not confronted with things that bother me. Did she not try the pool yet, Gabby? No, I don't what? think. The, the little pool. pools? No. No. Should you try it? it? Yeah, they're all dirty. We should empty those and take them out of the arena. We'll set you something else up. You could just make Chino stand in there for his feet getting... It's dirty water. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, Chino needs it. fresh water. Anyway, he seems to be enjoying oh. being home. Do you see that purple ball? Yeah, the purple ball. 100% Penny pushed it. Yeah, she Penny, did. No when we leave. She's like, Laura, I look at that's the perfect hoop for her to push the ball through. We need to get her to bounce the ball. She's like, Laura, I really want to push it through a hoop. I know she is. So anyways, Gabby got up this morning and came down. Did dad tell you to come down and do it? Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, she just came down and started taking care of her horse. And I wasn't even there. I was with the chickens. But I'm proud of her and I'm proud of Sophie. For so many reasons, for so many things that you guys don't see. It's true that we are even more who we are when we're off camera because when you're on camera, you kind of have like a persona. Poke, poke, poke. Chino's like, oh, poke me, poke me. <laughs> I love our boy. I love our boys. I love our horses. But you know, the only horses that like, we, we have not very many horses right now. Like we're down horses, it feels like. I love this, I'm getting a pedicure and fed. <laughs> Chino's in the barn soaking his foot and he's calling out for the horses. He's like, I'm here, I'm here girls. And the only one paying attention, the only one, little Willow. And Willow. I know it's not because she loves him. I know it's because she wants him to know that she's the boss of the world. I keep looking out the window to check on Chino and there's so much green right now happening that I can't see him through this bush. So I'm just gonna try and clean this up and I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like. So this is kind of what it looks like and when I look down here, I can't see. So I'm gonna try and clean this up. So three, two, one. So this is it. I got a lot of stuff cleaned out, but I think I need to get those branches up there. And tomorrow I'm gonna tackle this little bit of bushes because when I'm in the kitchen, it definitely impedes my view. So uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is the project that Sophie and I are working on together. You guys know I ordered a new, we ordered a new chicken coop, a bigger one, that will be here in the fall. But beside our chicken coop is this huge area, not huge, but this extra area, all hidden and protected from like weather and stuff. <laughs> the chickens are like, let me out! <laughs> Anyways, Sophie and I are gonna try and fence this in and make it like a bigger area for our chickens that they can come back here and forage and stuff. I like it because I'm gonna trim all the bushes in there and I'll put like another arch thing and clean it up, clean up all the brush and make it like another little entrance to our chicken area. We have this gate, we have a bunch of wood and we have like a bunch of these fence pieces and I think we're gonna use that. We've actually never ever in our lives built something, but we're gonna do it. I'm taking 
inspiration from Jen from Barn Boots and Country Roots who is a master skilled builder of stuff and so we're gonna try it I have a really fun roost that I'm gonna use like some place for them to like stand on and stuff and some other toy ideas that I want to do anyway that is it for today's video because I'm gonna try and get this video edited and out posted for you guys before we head off to our party tonight we're so glad she knows home I'm so uh, I just love him home. I love him at the other barn. I love the other barn and But I love just like you know when your kids are home at night and everybody's under one roof It just makes you feel safe and happy and good. It's kind of like that with Chino. I just love him here I love that we can go down there anytime and take care of him and Spend time with him even though I love that my kids can have a barn community that they go to that we love I also love having my horses at home a lot. So it's the best of both worlds for us really but he's home for a visit and i'm just going to revel in that we'll see you guys tomorrow where we have kind of big plans don't you know that